Hey friends and enemies, I got back from Wasteland not too long ago and uh, I'm going to show you all the loot I got there this year. Also, I really want to clean off this table because there's a lot of stuff here. So I took a picture, but I thought I'd immortalize it by uh, kind of making a little video. And if you're going to be going to Wasteland Beacon for your first time, this should give you an idea of uh, all the stuff that you might come back with. So... These are all the caps that I got this year. I could go through and individually talk about each one, but just an idea. This isn't, I guess this isn't every cap I got this year, but this is a good portion of them. Now, I highly recommend if you're going to Wasteland, whether you're returning or, if you're returning, you probably already know this, but I recommend bringing either an empty bag or like an empty uh, chest with you to keep all of your gifts and barter in because this year, my tent became kind of overswarmed with all the gifts and stuff that I got, which is a really nice thing. Um, if you don't know, people at Wasteland are really generous and they like to give you caps. They like to give you little gifts. Um, there's a couple barter things in here as well, but you come home with more than you left with usually. Um, I didn't get any like super huge items you can see here, but it still takes up space. So next year, I'm definitely going to bring uh, like an empty ammo can or something to put this stuff away in. I gave a lot of stuff away as well, but um, let's look at this stuff. So these, check that out. So these were originally made. I was going to give them to viewers of the channel. There's still a lot of them left over. They're made by, um, I believe they go by Golden Grotto, but also think they go by Wasteland Wear, but my, uh, Buddy Ulfblood made these. And uh, if you're interested in these, hit me up. Because I did want to give them to people who supported the channel. I think they're really cool. They're screen printed. He did an amazing job. Um, Golden Grotto, Goblin's Grotto. I believe Golden Grotto is what they're going by right now. But I think they go by Wasteland Wear as well. I'll put the link in the description. They do really nice work. And these... Were made by, by were made by my buddy Larry. Um, he is the one behind this as well, Vulture Productions. You might already know him. This is his logo, and uh, I actually made his logo for him. He has a YouTube channel. He's a really talented um, costume maker, and he makes all kinds of stuff. He's really cool. I got to meet him for the first time in person this year and that was a lot of fun. So he gave me some stickers and he made me these leather uh, patches. I also got from uh, one of my friends slash ally tribes, the white crows. They gave me some crow bits and I think they use this as currency in their tribe. I still have a few left over and these I thought were really cool. They were their uh, VIP pass for their camp this year. I kept these. I never made it over there and I feel really horrible about it, but I also didn't want to give these away. And we were a part of their, this was not really meant to be a gift, but I still have it. Um, we were a part of their tribe mission, which required people to come within our camp and try to find um, codes to defuse a bomb. And this was the code and I brought it home with me. I also helped with a uh, Hatter's VIP bounty mission and Hatter is a, uh, one of the tribe leaders of Hobo Junction. He gave me a hobo co another hobo coin. I don't know where it is. But these are really cool. These are his chips. He three printed himself. The design are really cool. Let's see what else I got here. Sticker from my buddy Rambler. And uh, Professor Mojave and General Malays had stickers made and they had buttons made as well. I got some of their caps here. I, another mission I was a part of, oh no, the marbles, was uh, my buddy Ray's had a mission where she lost her marbles and people had to go find them. And Ray's, I still have your marbles. This is from my tribe mate Del Scorcho. I don't remember what I bartered for it, but these are a hot barter, barter item this year and I really love it. Got to add it to my vest. This was from the uh, fossil company slash museum people. I don't know how many years they've been going to Wasteland, but their setup was really cool and I really enjoyed it. This <laughs> saw blade tits from a friend of mine. That's her costume. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. She's an extremely thoughtful person. Um, I like seeing her every year 
Amy. And uh, these are from some of the Japanese wastelanders from the House of the Rising Sun. Shout out to them. They gave me also, Fujio is a part of the House of the Rising Sun. Gave me some wasteland waifu patches. And this gigantic House of the Rising Sun PVC patch. It's double-sided. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I think it's really cool. I got a Last Breath token from my tribe mate Bushnack. These gave you a shot of a Last Breath. I bartered my other ones away. They were quite a hit, but this is the last remaining one. Let's see. I got this piece of amber. It's a little scratch. It's not in the best shape, but it's got some pretty cool um, particulate and inclusions in it. And I traded the, um, the six pack of the Necron 99 ale for it. I got this little little jar of lap, lapis lazuli, not lapis lazuli, like it's pronounced in Steven Universe, which is wrong. But um, I don't remember who gave this to me. I believe it was given to me by someone who was doing the uh, Dauntless Express Corp mission, and they had to get some uh, ingredients for me, and they gave that to me in thanks. Now, my buddy Nico hand-painted this canvas patch. And um, I had a gift for Nico, if you're listening to this, I had a gift for you and I never got to give it to you. But um, he made me this awesome patch and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I want to attach it to my outfit, but I also kind of want to put it in a little frame. And uh, his tribe made its debut this year and they are the uh, Da Vinci's Flares. And they had these wooden kind of pog emblems that they were handing out as an insignia of their tribe. And his tribe is all, um, they're painters an artist. I think they do body painting and um, traditional painting and stuff. They're very talented, really cool people. And uh, he did that for me. I'm extremely grateful. It's one of my favorite things I got this year. I also got from Specs. I got a token to go to the Bacchanalia and I never made it over there. So it's still in my possession. I don't know if I'm, if those roll over to the next year. Let's see. I traded um, something to get this little, this little tin from one of the faceless merchants and uh my buddy moth eater and milady gave me these stickers which are pretty amazing they wrote me a really nice letter with them as well i got a lot of um dog tags this year this is from cupcake my friend um and i got this chip it sucks it like rubbed off so you can't really read it but it's from the junk smith I don't know what happened to it. It was in my bag safely and it got totally jacked, which sucks. Um, Wasteland was doing, they did enamel pins this year. I'm not trying to brag, but I think I started the enamel, the enamel pin craze at Wasteland. I totally claim that as my own, but they had these made really cool. They're super limited. Um, my buddy Tommy, AKA Del Scorcho, he went and got this for me, waited in line. I bartered, um, if you guys watch my barter video, there's that Red Morton Joe insignia. I bartered that and he went and got this for me. And I guess the line at the um, Mercs area was super, super long. And uh, they did have a limited amount of these. So I'm glad I got my hands on one. This was a VIP card for Bikini Atoll from, um, God, I hope I'm Bikini Atoll. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it was from the What A Waste tribe and they had a tiki bar. It was badass, but you had to have one of these cards to get in. So I'm hanging on to that for the memories. Aaliyah, AKA my uh, Team Rocket from my tribe, gave me this label pin on Ramen Night. Menace sent me a nice little letter. And uh, Gita, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Gita, don't kill me. Ah, was making, I cannot unfold this, I'm sorry. These were kind of a hit on social media. I don't know how many people got them, but they're really cool. She um, makes these, they're duct tape maps and they have all the tribes listed on here. And this really helped while I was at the event because I could go out and explore the theme zone. I knew where I was. We were a part of the main story mission this year. Um, Fahrenheit, I'll return this to you, but it was really cool being a part of the main story mission. I like sending people uh, to go find the golden shrooms and when they would come back, I'd give them a stamp. And if they failed, I sent them somewhere else. And uh, But 
<laughs> this was a part of that. It's not really a gift. Let's see. Let's see. I have so much stuff here. Got a sand demon postcard. I got a slave a slave magic card. He's a legendary creature. The carnival of destruction's games are quite effective at hurting... Oh, at, l at luring in unsuspecting bystanders and bounty hunters alike, making easy pickings for the crew of raiders to take what they please from the drunk and distracted denizens of the Waste. These were cool. They made, like, custom magic cards. Um, I got one of the Wasteland newspapers. This was made by my buddy, Three Wheel. Shout out to Mike Kemling. He's a great guy. He, oh, I feel so bad. I have gifts for him and I never bring them. I had a gift. I have like the gift from last year I meant to give him. And I had the gift from this year and I never gave it to him. But uh, he gave this to me. He's super generous. He's always making things. He's great costume maker. Um, I got to find his social media. You guys will get a kick out of the stuff he makes. But he's awesome. And uh, he gave that to me. I got some nice letters from people. Who is this from? DS. This was really nice. I needed that when it uh, came in. Check this out too. This was not from DS, but I thought it was pretty awesome. A little positivity in the waist. Um, somebody gave these to TJ, but I have them in my possession. They're pretty awesome. They're going in my uh, Russian collectibles box. And if you look, by the way, these are all spread out on top of a uh, giant communist flags. We got two of them as gifts this year. I got, fortunately Mayo didn't make it out this year, but I got some cool stuff from her. Got my certificate from Almost Patton. I think those are TJ's playing cards. I don't know if that counts as a gift. I got this hat which saved my life in the sun the day we were leaving. I got super sick this year, you guys. And uh, that really helped. I got a shirt as well. And then almost Patton did a little little drawing of my Wasteland characters that I thought was really cool. It's very rare that other people draw me. And, oh, this is cool too. I think I got this at Ulf's booth. This works, it's a microphone. I'm going to see if I can um, hook it up to a speaker or some kind of... I don't know. I am I have big plans for this, but we'll wait for a future build. I just thought it was really neat, but it supposedly functions. And I got this knife. I'm going to open it up. Hold on. Okay, so I got this knife from the same place. Hold on. i got to put you down to look at this. As soon as I saw this, I had to have it. It's made out of, gosh, you can't even see it. My phone won't focus. The blade was made from an old ruler. Isn't that awesome? You must go this deep. Yeah, this is my new favorite waistline knife. I love it. And I have a bunch of letters and I don't think I don't think I actually opened this one, so I'm going to open it here. Hopefully it's not like super personal or anything, but there's a Wasteland mail service so you can have uh, couriers come and bring people letters. And I don't remember who this came from, so I'm going to open it right now. It's got like a heart on it. All right, let me see if I can open this one handed. Hi. Okay, bye. All right. Thank you. Also, I didn't open this either. Like I said, I got super sick. And I think when this arrived, I just um, threw it beside. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Wait, this isn't a themed cap. How dare you? Oh, wait, it's full of them. I'm going to shake it out. Oh. Ooh. Damn it, NCR. This is really good, you guys. NCR bringing it quality-wise. This is gigantic, but the NCR goes all out for their uh, their fictional paperwork. Oops, it was my tax form, and we didn't fill it out. Let's see. Wait, how do I owe anything anyway? 
Refund. Oh, they're paying me. I was going to say, um, the Death Caps is pretty much, we're like a church. I mean, we're doing a free service, giving the wasteland, getting rid of radiation in the wasteland by spreading the radiation eating shroom. So we can't really be taxed. That's pretty cool. They gave me their refund, but it's hoping for casino caps. That's okay. This is very cool. Thanks, you guys. I will uh, definitely use that next year. And then I got this one. The uh, I hope this is for me. Great. It looks like it got wet. Let me open this. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, no. It looks like it was ruined by water. No. Damn it. Well, if you sent me this and there's... No way of identifying it. Let me know. All right, I'm going to show you this piece separately because I already have it set up on my shelf the way I like and it's kind of heavy. But this, I need better light to show you. Um, just for reference, this is the size of my hand next to this thing. Um, my friend Debbie Griffith gave this to me and it's huge. She carried it through the desert to give it to me and I love it. It has really beautiful colors in it. I might have to show you with a flashlight to really get there but I just washed it so it's a little wet um that was one of my favorite gifts I got this year so anyway uh that was my loot this year um when you go to wasteland you're gonna start making friends fast even if you don't random people are gonna be giving you their caps and stuff so I highly recommend you bring a bag and enjoy the ride this is a, a very generous community that likes to make things and give things away so thanks to everyone who uh gave me little gifts and stuff i would treasure them forever i keep everything you guys give me um thank you so much i'm gonna go into my uh i think my next video i'm gonna go into kind of my rundown of the event and how everything went do a little vlog but thank you everybody these are all amazing and uh everything here is gonna go in into my i have like a little wasteland treasure box and some of the stuff i'm gonna use in my costume so thank you everyone uh i'll see you next time